Hey everybody, welcome to another part of my Let's Play series for King Arthur and Knight's Tale. Continuing on very hard, keeping the Old Faith Tyrant run going. Before I jump into the missions, I just wanted to show off some of the stuff I have. Because I, uh, every now and then I get comments asking, you know, hey, what do you have for X, Y, and Z? I generally skip over that stuff because it's just lots of tedious, just me muttering to myself, clicking things. So I'll go ahead and show you what gear I have that I've picked up along the way and the building upgrades. You can kind of see the skills I've been picking up. I don't really think I need to go too much into detail on these. But with Mordred, I mean, I don't really have anything special. Um, I think he pretty much has the same stuff he's been having. I've been keeping these two items here in particular because they're pretty strong with his unyielding. He gets HP back when he hits stuff, and when he gets HP, he gets armor back. It's a pretty strong combo. Landvul is just has some pretty basic level 5 gear all around. Um, nothing crazy here. I bumped him up to a minus 1... For, uh, sorry, I bumped him up from a, a minus 1 AP penalty armor to a minus 2, so he's a bit tankier. Uh, Balin is just kind of the same stuff, I think. Nothing really crazy on him, but he's a vanguard, so he's kind of nuts anyways. Hector, though, he's been doing pretty crazy, and I think the main reason for that is he just has a pretty good level 5 staff. has plus 1 range for his skills, which is phenomenal, and he does have the uh, counter attack once per turn on ranged attacks, which is also very good. And uh, this item here, though, gives him that plus 4 base damage to his force bolts, which makes a pretty big difference, because then... That gets amplified by things like Damned Prey, so. Uh, that's kind of the party. I'm not going to be using Black Knight yet, just because he doesn't really have the uh, skills I want him to have quite yet. Once he gets one more level, I think, and I can get the upgrade on Earth Splitter and then Ground Surge, I may start using him. But the Pict hit really hard right now, and I think using Defensive Stance will just, it'll be easier for me to mitigate some damage on my champion until my party gets a little bit stronger. For my Camelot upgrades, there isn't a whole lot. I mean, I got the thing so I can use laws, and I increased my roster size. You can see my uh, meat shields that I use during their own recruitment missions down over here. They're really messed up. In the Cathedral, the only thing I picked up was the uh, thing to use uh, potions for no AP. That's actually a pretty strong upgrade. I do recommend getting that early if you can. It's only like a thousand gold, too. And the Merchant, only one upgrade here, too. Um, I may get Caravan soon, but nothing really, uh, to note there. Training Ground is where most of my upgrades have been going. So, things for, like, the extra HP, the extra XP from training, the extra skill point. So, that's where all that is. I think, let's put Dindrain in here, actually, since I'm not going to be bringing her on this next mission. Hospice, I only get got the one extra slot. And the Enchanted Tower, I don't have any upgrades, so... That's what I have for my Camelot so far. This isn't necessarily the order I think I'd maybe recommend to a lot of other players. Um, if this is If you're still fairly new to the game. I would generally recommend prioritizing some stuff in the Hospice. At least getting the one slot here. Maybe two, depending on how often you're getting beat up. Same for the Cathedral. But, uh, yeah. The only side mission I currently have on offer is the Bedivere recruitment mission, which can be pretty difficult, so I'm actually going to wait and come back to that later. So for now, I'm just going to jump into the story mission Excalibur and, you know, see where we go from there. So as soon as this mission starts, you're immediately getting attacked by some pig tier, but thankfully, they're all grouped up and... It's pretty easy. I mean, this is just a classic um, fire blast scenario. We're going to put stigma down and then fire blast. And now, hopefully, he'll die from the burns. But with uh, Mordred, we're going to do Thunderbolt. So, hopefully, two of them will die. This third one will probably live. Because I can't throw and dagger him, even if I could get in range, because all these people in the way. So for Balin, we're just going to... We're just going to trap up. I should swap their positions, though, after this fight. I think for now, just move up. Defensive stance. 
And I think that should be good. Okay, cool. We did get two kills. Yeah, shooting it. Landville didn't take any damage because of defensive stance. That's awesome. Um, he's probably going to die to the fire next turn. So let's slow you. Throw a shot in. Because I don't want to deal with your annoying invincibility. Restealth. I think... Okay, cool. One down. And then we'll just, uh... Overwatch with our melee boys. Cool. Oh, nice. And Thunderbolt's back, so... There we go. Unfortunately, this next fight, just 10 feet away from the last one, not quite as easy. Um, we do have a pick Chieftain Shaman. Can we kill him? Our Earthshaker can reach, so maybe. What about our Throwing Dagger? Can that reach? Not quite. But if we move to here... Throwing Dagger... Let's do Earthshaker first. Then Defensive Stance. That's awesome. Okay. Managed to take out the Shaman first turn. Don't need to worry about any of his annoying abilities. They do have two Archers. So, hopefully, Ector can take care of them. Stealth. Alright, we did do Defensive Stance. And Thunderbolt. Let's go ahead and save this. Until... Because we may need it to finish off a target in case Ector can't one-shot. He may be able to, but better safe than sorry. But if we do this... Then... That. If we move to here, to get the kill, then we can re-stealth. Let's move to here. Now Landville's in the way, but if we move... Okay, they're gonna, both going to have cover, so we're probably going to need a Thunderbolt to finish. Let's just do that one. If we slow... Alright, that guarantees the kill. Move Ector over. And we can just turn Mordred to face this way. Yeah, that's it. That counts as a backstab, huh? That's unfortunate. Well, I guess we're using a potion early. Not much we can do about that. That's a backstab. Oh, oh, I turned him all the way left. I meant to, like, angle him like this. I misclicked. Unfortunate. But you're dead now. And we can get our own backstab with throwing dagger here. And we can absolutely throttle you. Yep. Um, they both have rage up, so they're... This is really gonna hurt. Max HP is 42, this heals 15. We'll go ahead and do it. Because this is gonna hurt. They're probably gonna go for him. Um, let's move you back one just to be safe in case you do go for Landville. Yeah, and that was with blocks. He lost half of his armor, half of his HP. That's crazy. Alright, but we do have 10. We're just going to sink attacks in for... Well, actually, no. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Now they're down to 1. We're just going to land some hits in to get some HP back. Yeah, you can see we got most of our armor back, a lot of our HP. That, uh skill armor combination is putting in a lot of work for our Mordred. Managed to keep all of the damage to Mordred, which is good, that's his job, and by the end of it, isn't even that messed up, though we did have to use a potion. So this is another one of those, like, uh, NPC turf war encounters where they're mostly fighting each other. The picked are definitely stronger than the lost, so we're gonna focus our damage onto the picked while the lost are still around to act as meat shields. I feel like this guy wants to shoot us for some reason, so... Can we Earthshaker him? We can. God, I love Earthshaker. Okay, um... Do Thunderbolt? See, I don't get a backstab with my Thunderbolt, but the enemy AI does. That's not fair. <laughs> Alright, 
land one of these. Can we even? I guess we can. Um, sure you. And we'll just stealth for now. I don't think we're at risk of getting shot, so... You can't even do anything, so we're just gonna stick you in the corner. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and throw... See, I don't want to break the bodies because the Picked will still attack them. So, I mean, there's a good Fire Blast target there, but I do not want to be breaking these bodies. I want the Picked to do it for me. Just throwing dagger, I guess. Then go back into hiding. <laughs> uh, let's just move you here for now to get ready. And yeah, it looks good. Okay, I don't want them to actually get rezzed though, so I think now I'll put a fire blast in. Like this. And they res at the start of their turn, so I'm hoping the Picked will finish off the Lost before it gets to their turn initiative. Nice. That looks good. Can you reach? Kinda. We'll do this to be safe. Okay, one res isn't a big deal. He's definitely going to kill that. Alright, cool. So we just need to deal with some, uh, some Lost. That's not a big deal whatsoever. Let's sidestep you, because I think I can get a triple here with Earthshaker. Uh, that's always so satisfying. And... We'll call that there. Alright, nice. Another throwing dagger. Alright, so we have another enemy AI fight, except in this one the Lost are so extremely outnumbered. There's just no way the uh, we're going to have a situation like the last one. We do have Percival. We don't recruit him on this mission, so he can kind of be a meat shield for us again, because when we do choose to recruit him, he'll be back to full. It's always nice having disposable teammates. Yeah, let's take out you. Put Stigma, Thunderbolt, because that will actually bypass the shield. Then we can do an Earthshaker. Cool, alright. Their Spellcaster chick is down and out. This defensive stance to be safe. And... Put a trap there. I feel like he may come at us, but I think the rest of them are going to go running at the, uh, the Lost. So, I think we're pretty safe. And he just used encouragement on the downed body, because the body turns into an ally. Ugh. Great, great work, Percival. Really helping out the team. Man, the AI is smart. Just stealth. God. Why? I'm gonna pull back. I mean, he's a meat shield, but I'd prefer he doesn't get absolutely annihilated before I get a chance to control him and actually meat shield with him efficiently. Uh, I think this is good to, uh... Do I want to shoot you? Nah. I think that's not a bad target for our... Fire Blast, and then we can still slow the guy. Oh, and Vulnerable makes him immune to taking on the slow- Oh, and that's- It's been forever since I've had to fight the Picked. Forgot about that. Vulnerable means immune to everything. Except for Knockback, actually. Weird how that works. Okay, the Picked Archer got killed by the Lost Crossbowman. If we move Landwell to here... Cool. You're, you still count as blocking. Oh my god. Sure, man. Why not? And we'll do that. The lost are actually gonna win this because 
Percival diverted so many of the pick to him because he went to try and save our beloved downed ally here, Riok. <laughs> Good guy, Percival. I think I can get a double here. Let's start sending Balin. Oh, wait. Can, I think I can just throw and dagger this guy. Yep. Well, we got one good encouragement in, I guess. That's something. Alright, we got another fight here. It's a pretty long room, which means the guys over here are going to take a while to get to us. So we can really just kind of focus on the stuff over here. Shouldn't be a difficult fight. Encouragement. Guard. And then if we stigma, you're one out. There we go. Nice one tap. And if I can throw in dagger this, that'd be cool. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's disappointing. And I stepped on a trap. Well. <laughs> you suck. Alright, these guys are going to come running through here, so let's just trap that up like crazy. Let's pull you back one, and we'll even fire blast. Slow you. Blood hex you. That's just to amp up our own damage on the next turn with our uh, force bolt. Oh, I'll move Percival to here, I guess. And that looks fine to me. We can take care of this body. If I move over one, can I? I can. Excellent. So then, let's restigma you. Throw a force bolt in. Overwatch. Let's knock you back. Overwatch. Gonna pop another encouragement for that extra AP. Kill you. Throwing dagger. Back into stealth. Start making our way around. Then over here. We don't have shield charge with Percival to start. That is a crime. Defensive stance to be safe. Between defensive stance and guard, Landwall is taking no damage. If anything, I, they're probably going to shoot Mordred over Landwall because Landwall is looking tankier. <laughs> oh, really? No, still going for Landwall. Actually, surprising. It's one down. Should be able to take out this crossbow. Yep. Let's go ahead and put a stigma here. Dead. And Overwatch. I don't know why he went all the way over there, but okay. Because there was a trap there. Mad, that makes sense now. <laughs> you got me. How did you... Do I only have one perception on Balin? I must. Alright, so I'm gonna open up this... It looks like it's gonna be a relic chest. But it does trigger a fight. Right. And they get to go first, which means they got a free backstab on Percival. Let's use encouragement. Uh, can I do anything about this annoying skirmisher? Not really. Damn. Other than that, I suppose. Uh, okay. Not much else, though. 
Let's move you here. Let's move you up. Use guard. Earthshaker. Defensive stance slow. And I think that's it for our turn. Cool. Just sent Percival after him, I guess. I think I can... Yep. Which means we can do this. Uh, I guess we'll move Landfall up. Hey, Relic Armor. So we don't get Percival on this one, but that's fine. He doesn't really do a whole lot. I mean, he's useful defensively, I guess. Um... Okay, we got two crossbows. We got some of these guys. All right, well, we'll lay traps on this side for this dude. And then we'll just slow you. I'm gonna stigma that just to be safe. And defensive stance. There, both ranger down. Can you still reach us? Kind of. Um, there we go. Alright, we have another undead getting summoned in next turn as well. I think this is fine, though. Hey, Percival's back. Encouragement! Pop some of this. Some of that. Follow up with a Fire Blast. Beautiful. Some traps while we're at it. Let's use guard. And we'll even overwatch with Mordred. Oh. Didn't notice his timer was at one. Can Hector kill him? Yep. Alright, so we're about to go into the final fight of the mission. I did use a campfire to get some armor for Percival. Everyone else was completely fine, but I figured mine as well since we're right here. So this mission's go been going pretty well. That's right. It's a bunch of these knights. Six of them. Wow. Okay. And I think Percival will join the fight after like three turns or something. Traps for you. Slow for you. Let's do a stigma too. Focus you down first. Um, could Earthshaker kill? Maybe, but we're gonna hold off. Traps working beautifully. Are you going for Percival? <laughs> bad. Are they immune to slow? Because this... they didn't get slowed by the trap. That's interesting. Well, we'll do this and run away. <laughs> Defensive stance and overwatch. We're gonna leap over here. Get an attack in and then hide. Oh, you had enough AP to stand up and get an attack in? We've been relocated. Oh, and he's like right in the middle of us too. That's not great. And... That. Turn back around. Okay. We'll get there, I guess. Ah, uh, this was... Not a great relocation. Yeah, at least use guard on Percival. 
Well, we have a nice lineup for Fire Blast, at least. And we have Percival over here, so he's going to be eating all the attacks from them. Nice, posi nice positioning for our meat shield, at least. Not quite enough to kill the Reliquary Guard, that's a shame. Perfect. Worth it. Yeah, I knew he was going to get a res. I forgot that we were going to get relocated so far away from him, not be able to finish off the body. We're just going to take the long way around and keep swinging. All right, well, that's one down. That's fine. Let's go ahead and stigma this one. Cool. Alright, and we should be able to mop this up next turn. We'll give the killing blow to Percival. Ayo. Okay, and that is where we're going to be stopping for today's part. I got some leveling up I need to do, but I'll do that off screen. And next time, we'll decide if we want to uh, jump into the Chosen or... Monastery of the Sacred Heart. Probably going to do The Chosen. A slower level, it'll be easier. If you made it this far into the video, thank you, I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.